What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor by leaving a like. It really helps out the video as well as the channel. Y'all already know what time I'm on today. We is back with yet another hunt video. We're gonna be looking for SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball. We're gonna be looking for Marvel Legends, DC, Transformers, pretty much everything, man. So if you do collect those things, and if you are interested in those things, make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna be looking at all that in today's video. If you do like the video, again, make sure you leave a like. Let's get into it. All right, man. Y'all see the first place we did pull up to. We is at a Walmart. We finna go in here and see what they got. All right, man. Jumping into the first toy, y'all. We do have we do have a bunch of new Transformer stuff that has been put out. Got the new Studio Series Transformers One Optimus Prom cool in here. So they definitely did stock all that Walmart, which it's been about a week since I did a hunt. I figured they was gonna stock all this at some point. As you could clearly see, they did stock a bunch of this Transformer stuff. Got the Shockwave back there, Scott Warp. Pretty sure that's gonna be it, yeah. Cause they got the same thing at Target, but all this stuff has been stocked. They got the basic mainline Transformers for the movie too. So like I said, if you're looking for any of this Transformer stuff, you into this, you into the new movie that's coming out, make sure you is nonetheless check out Walmart for this stuff because they for sure got it in stock. And they even do have a little section over there as well. I'm not gonna go over there because it's just the kids' toys, like it's the stuff like this. So I'm not really gonna go over there and check all that, but they do have more over there. As far as the Kong stuff, it looks like they're finally clearing this stuff out. It's not too much Kong stuff in here. We do have this new Dick Grayson Batman cooler right here for whatever reason because there isn't even a tag for it, but it is nonetheless cooler right here. We do have a Hugo Strange sitting here as well, and I think that. Yeah, that's a Platinum Edition figure, so that is chilling. Now, both of them is. I didn't even know that, but both of them sitting there nonetheless. And to make sure if you're looking for those Batman figures, you is checking on Walmart. We do still got a bunch of Ninja Turtle stuff. I feel like some of this is new. I ain't never seen that before, so maybe that is new. Nonetheless, we do have some Turtle stuff still cool in there. As far as the Marvel stuff, we do have some regular kids toys cooling right here, but... I don't see anything interesting. It's going to be pretty much the same stuff we seen last time. And as far as the Marvel Legends, again, nothing new at this particular Walmart. It's all the same stuff. We still do have this Wolverine cooler right here. So again, if you're looking for Deadpool and Wolverine stuff, make sure you is check your Walmart because they might still have it in stock. Because as you can see, there is a Wolverine cooler right there. And as far as anything else, I'm not really going to waste my time with anything else. We do got a little bit of Star Wars right here, but even that hasn't really changed. Just a bunch of the Infantry Mandalorians cooler right there. But other than that, the side's gonna be looking pretty dead. The only thing new they got over here is again, the Transformer stuff really, and that new McFarland stuff. But other than that, like I said, nothing else really new. So what we gonna do is we gonna go to the figure art section. All right, man, jumping straight into the, come on, bro. Coming into the figure arts, the only thing that we got as per usual, Kaiju number eight it is a Sam Rays on our Goku. But other than that, man, it's not looking like we got anything else, unfortunately. Not even the doo-doo Dragon Stars Goku Blacks over here no more. Pretty much everything's been cleared out. That is on sale, so if you do want those doo-doo Naruto figures, they do have them on sale. Wait, what? That ain't really no sale. How much they usually go for, what, 24? I, I guess. But here, man, no other figure wars cooling right here. We do have some horror stuff pulling out here still. Got a ghost face cooler right here, but other than that, Ain't really gonna be anything too interesting for real. Yeah, man, no figure words other than the Kaiju number eight and the same res on our Goku. So with that being said, we finna go to the next location. We actually do still have this Ultraman over here and I do wanna let y'all know that it is on clearance for only 30. I guess nobody's buying these and I figured that was gonna happen because who watches Ultraman? I don't know anybody that watches that personally, but nonetheless, it is on sale. Some of the stuff is going on sale over here. So if you want any of this stuff, Make sure you are checking it out nonetheless. All right, man, y'all see the next location we just pulled up to. We is at Ross. They be having the good deals on stuff, so we finna go in here and see what they got. All right, man, this is the unfortunate part of the video where I did have to do a voiceover because unfortunately there was a bunch of stank breath people up in the store and they was blasting some music. So unfortunately I did have to do a voiceover, but nonetheless, they do be having a bunch of stuff up in Ross, whether it's Dragon Ball, whether it's DC, Ninja Turtles, Transfer, just anything, man. You'll find anything in Ross. It's like a secondhand store. I would say it is similar to Ollie's, but as you can see, I'm just looking around on the shelves the shelves definitely are messy so it's really hard to really find anything you really got to look for it but that is actually the fun part of this video is hunting for this stuff man and i did actually end up finding a couple different dragon stars figures i did find a base form goku but i passed up on it because it was super ugly i did actually find a base form trunks as well specifically the one from dragon ball super and then i also found a super saiyan rose goku black which i did actually cop because i actually wanted it for my collection and i did also find a dragon stars two pack and a couple other things but i did pass up on all those things I think I found a Vegeta statue as well, but again, I did end up passing up on it. Hey, yeah, man, the next location we go to is Target. You already know that's where the heat be at. So with that being said, enjoy.
All right, man, you already know what time we're on. We just pulled up the Target. We finna go ahead and see what they got. Pulling up to the collector section off oh, rip. I'm gonna give y'all a little overview of what we got going on. Let me see if they got any figures, man. Still sitting there, man. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. Still got the Super Saiyan Blue Goku in stock as well as back here we do have another Super Saiyan Vegeta chilling back there, so that's still nonetheless is in stock. As far as anything else new, I'm not really seeing nothing that did stock. Where's he at? Stocked in Arto again, but other than that, I'm not really seeing nothing, man. Just again, more Naruto's, another Super Saiyan Blue Ooh. chilling out there. As far as anything else in Dragon Ball, we do got it. The Target exclusive Super Saiyan Vegeta still chilling up there, as well as some Dragon Ball Evolved Ultra Instinct Son Goku, as well as a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta right there. We do still have these Limit Breaker series right here. We got a Gohan, we got Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and I think, yeah. The Golden Freeza chilling back there as well. We have the Goku Black Power Up pack right here as well, so that is nonetheless at Target. Um, as far as anything else, we got a Super Saiyan 2 Goku, the Dragon Stars. We got the 2-pack with Goku and Frieza here as well. We do got the Gohan 2-pack with Gamma 1 as well. Come back here, and that's about it as far as Dragon Ball. I'm not really seeing anything else on the shelves that is Dragon Ball for real. So again, if you are looking for the Super Saiyan Vegeta, make sure you guys check your target as well as if you're looking for the Super Saiyan Blue Goku because they do have them in stock. As far as anything else, we do just got a bunch of random neck and stuff over here. I will let y'all see all of this just in case you're into something else. As y'all can see, it is pretty stacked up. Got this huge turtles pack right here. Which looks crazy, man. We do got them Dudu Naruto figures right here as well. We got some Ninja Turtle stuff right there. We got Gremlins. We got a Bleach figure right here from McFarlane. We do got some Gundam right here. We got some Demon Slayer at the top. Just a lot of different stuff over here, man. I mean, not really too much. I mean, we got Dragon Ball, but it's the same stuff we've been seeing. We got more Gundam right there, more Turtles. Over here, we do got some DC McFarlane right here. We do got some Ultra Instinct Son Gokus and again, some more Evolve over here, but it's the same stuff we've been seeing. So I'm not really gonna waste no time on it for real. So again, if you are looking for this Naruto, make sure you check your target. And if you are looking for this Vegeta as well as the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, again, make sure you check your target. And I'm gonna step back, give y'all one last look at the owl. But with that being said, we finna go to the toy haul. All right, man, coming into the first toy haul, as far as Transformers, they are pretty well stocked up. A bunch of the new movie stuff is in. Like, we also had the same deal at Walmart. We do got still the Scorpion Eyes as well as I'm Gary Hill, Will Jack chilling back there. We do got these side swipes. Got a Transformers 1 Optimus Prime Studio Series. We got the Studio Series Bumblebee as well. Definitely a decent amount of Transformers stuff over here. I'm not even gonna lie. Still got the Sky War, as well as Shockwave, I'm guessing. Bruh. Every single time, man. Every single time. Anyways, we got Shockwave back there. Another Sky Warp, and we do have a Star Scream as well. Yeah, man, a decent amount of Transformers, which I mean, it makes sense considering the movie is coming out. We do also have some stuff right behind me as well. So if you are into Transformers, make sure you hit check your targets and Walmarts because they definitely have stuff in stock. As far as the DC stuff, I'm not gonna say anything really changed because. It really hasn't. The same Arkham Batman right here, Ben Affleck Batman back there, and Joker stuff right here as well. I think this is new though. I definitely did not see this last time, so this is for sure new. As well as this. But other than that, that's pretty much the same stuff that we've been seeing in here, man. And as far as anything else, DC, we do have this two pack is definitely new i did not see this so this is definitely new so if you're looking for this make sure you just check your target because they definitely have in stock nonetheless but yeah man even dc seems to be decently stocked i mean it's the same stuff we had seen last time but it's definitely decently stocked so if you're looking for any of this stuff make sure you again is check your target and as far as the marvel legends i'm not gonna lie i would be wasting my time even yapping over here because it's all the same stuff the Ooh. week spider-man the week Ooh. iron man wait a minute wait a minute here isn't everybody looking for this thing right now? That's crazy. I feel like everybody looking for this thing right now. I know I'm not tripping, but yeah, man. We do have a new carnage. Never seen that before. So if you're looking for that, make sure you guys check your target. Yeah, man, pretty much nothing else over here as far as the Marvel Legends. Again, if you're looking for this carnage, I don't know who's looking for it, but if you is, make sure you is checking your target. I feel like I seen that a lot of people was looking for that. I know I'm not tripping, but yeah, man, not too much with the Marvel Legends for real. And as far as anything goes, it's just gonna be the regular kids toys and stuff. There's really nothing else in this aisle that's gonna be interesting for real. So with that being said, let's go to the next toy aisle. All right, man, coming into this toy aisle, we still got some Kong and Godzilla stuff. Still got some turtle stuff cooling here. 
It's all gonna be the exact same stuff, still chilling on the shelves. This Godzilla Folly did go on sale, but it's only on sale for 45. That ain't much cheaper than what it was. So that's for sure, a waste of time. As far as Star Wars, man, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be the same stuff chilling right here, so I'm not gonna waste any time on it. With that being said, Let's go to the next location. All right, man, I did just pull up to the next location. As you can see, it is GameStop. We finna go in here and see what they got. Here we go yet again with another voiceover. Again, they had music blasting up in this GameStop, so I unfortunately do gotta do this again. But I ain't even finna lie to you. I really wasted my time walking into this GameStop. GameStop really don't be having nothing for me, man. I be seeing a lot of statues and stuff like that. But other than that, I don't ever really find anything good. They did have a bunch of stuff on clearance and stuff like that, but again it wasn't really anything too interesting they had a couple things that was dc that looked interesting like superman and all that but other than that i wasn't really feeling nothing that i did end up seeing in there All right, man, we did just pull up to the next location. Next location is Best Buy. We finna go in here and see what they got. All right, man, coming into the first, uh, what do we get? As far as anything down here, I ain't even finna lie to you, bro. Oh, right, well, no, nah, I'm lying. We do got some, did they move this stuff? I think they moved the stuff around. Got the Vegeta statue here. Still the same as that one that just got even more. Oh, hold up, yeah, just got even more of them. They only 12? 12, that can't be right. It is 12? what i don't know why i thought that thing went for 35 but anyways we do got some mcfarland stuff over here as well we got a penguin we got a joker batman we do got the earth 2 batman as well and we do got some demons there we got some matrix stuff right here some turtle stuff and that's pretty much gonna be it for this little aisle right here nothing else really over here that's interesting so we're gonna go to the figure arts area all right man coming into the figure arts section i'm hoping we see something down here because they did move the stuff around so maybe there is something new but starting off, we do have a bunch of the NECA stuff chilling right here. We got a bunch of NECA Ninja Turtles. We got some alien stuff right here at the bottom, which I always think the NECA stuff look really good. We do have Michael Myers right here as well from Halloween Ends, as well as we do have that new Ghostface chilling here as well. Yeah, man, as far as NECA, it is pretty stocked up. As far as the NECA stuff, I don't feel like any of this changed coming down here to... Nah, see? I knew it. There is no figure wars right here, man. We do got this duo Dragon Stars Gamma 1 right here, as well as we do also got some Gundam. We got some One Piece. We got Naruto statue. We got some One Piece statues. We do still got this Vegeta statue chilling, but other than that, man, nothing else anime that we are looking for. So with that being said, we're gonna go to the next location. All right, man, we is at the next location. We is at Barnes & Nobles. We finna go in here and see what they got. I ain't even gonna count. This gotta be the worst Barnes & Nobles you could ever go to. Every time I go in this specific store, it is straight doo-doo. They don't ever be having no figure wars, no Marvel. Lit. They don't be having nothing here. I ain't even gonna count, bro. They did have some Dragon Ball Pops, like the GT Goku and GT Vegeta. But other than that, this store is just straight doo-doo. I ain't even gonna lie to you. All right, man, that is gonna wrap up that short hunt video. I just wanted to get out there and see what we've seen out there today. We did see a decent amount of Dragon Ball stuff. It was mainly at Target, though. Pretty much everywhere else is just a bunch of random Marvel and DC and Transformer stuff. There is a decent amount of Transformer stuff out there as well. But again, if you are looking for the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the Super Saiyan Vegeta, again, check your Target because it still is there for me. But a lot of y'all was commenting on my last video and saying I did help y'all out with telling y'all about the Vegeta and y'all did go out and find one for yourself. So again, if you are looking for the Vegeta, the Super Saiyan Blood Awakening Vegeta or that Super Saiyan Blue Goku, check your targets and also check your Walmart too because they also are at Walmart. So, with that being said, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, turn on them out, stay tuned.